Health Champions is funded by the Department of Health through an initiative called Healthy Together Victoria. How we envision Health Champions evolving as an initi initiative, we use this diagram which is out of our model. We refer to this as the evolution of Health Champions. In most cases, in most of the local government areas, this is the starting point. Health Champions will come into an orientation session and be introduced to the concept. Often Health Champions are recruited from uh, fairly easily identifiable starting points that people who are perhaps already engaged in some sort of volunteering activities. Um, and partly that's about getting the initiative off to a good start in those local areas. Uh, but also it's recognising that you're not always engaging with staff members in those local prevention areas who are confident with this way of working. So it's a soft introduction, if you like. The way it looks right now, based on a model that we've drawn up at the Western Region Health Centre, uh, realistically needs to look completely different in the next 12 to 18 months because it's got to reflect the local needs of the communities in which it's being rolled out. So the development is, was guided by these key principles. Uh, it should be community led. Uh, it should be based on an action research uh, methodology. Uh, health literacy uh, is an important component. It should be integrated with um, existing systems and opportunities within each of the communities that it's being um, delivered. It should be established within an empowerment framework and it should be sustainable. We were involved in a fairly significant period of consultation. So as I described there's a, a workforce um, across 14 local government areas that all have staff members who are, represent who are supporting health champions locally. They were all surveyed, we met with them face to face, we ran uh, a forum where representatives came to Melbourne um, and we've established work working groups where people have provided us with ongoing feedback and support around content that we've been developing for, for health champions. All of that work um, is documented and uh, we used, have used those consultations to inform the development of the model for the project, but also our way of working. Uh, we've also uh, engaged in community consultations. This was predetermined. So, so when you think about the engagement continuum, we have started a bit down the track, uh, which is not necessarily ideal. However, uh, having said that, we engaged with community in um, three or four of the 14 local government areas and asked them the same questions that we really were asking staff. Things like, what is, what is this concept health champion? What does it look like to you? What does it mean? What would a health champion do? If you were a health champion locally, what supports and resources would you need and so on? So all of that feedback has informed the development of content and the model for health champions.